Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the next chapter of Marvel Luzuki Plays Mega Man X Buster Only Run. We just played the last part, we ended it on the through Spark Mandrel stage. We got a new heart container. Now here comes one of the more another more difficult bosses. This guy's fast, he's armored. Um He's fast, he's armored. Let's do this. Alright, one, two, three. And then sploosh. One, two, One, two, three. Two. Dang it. Doing pretty good. Well, not really. Dang it. Okay, I need to. I need to use one. That's not good. Oh wow, I'm already at fifty percent. Yeah, that's that's not that's not too bad to dodge. That's not too bad to dodge if you if you like time it right. Oh come on. Oh wow, yeah, this is this is not going great at all. Oh, that does so much damage. All right, got him down to 50%. There we go. God damn it! Oh, okay. It begins, and now we don't have any sub tanks. That was stupid of me. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, why did... Oh, my God. It does so much damage. Oh, get away from me. Start. All right, we have three full tanks. Here we go. All right, one, two. There we go. Right when he comes out of the roll, hit him with a blast. Even if, or right when he's going into one. There we go. Get away. There we go. All right, use one. Come on, he always goes to the corner I go to. Come on. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is ridiculous. And then... I can't, I can't, I can't... Come on, go in your hole. Why do... Oh. Just stand in there. There we go. Why? Three. Oh my G Jesus Christ! I can't hurt this guy. I am just I just cannot hurt this guy. Like he's the most difficult because he's the most difficult because you it's so difficult to even get chip damage because he blocks everything. Like And then I can't I can't And then I get hit by stupid shit like that Hold on I think we might be onto something here Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did I just... Hold on! Booyah! I- Oh wow, I did not know you could do that! I basically kept pushing him back into the corner where eventually- Anytime he tried to open up- Oh my god, YES! Holy crap, this is the first time I've ever busted only him. Oh my god. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it. Uh, well, no, you know what? Because I keep forgetting the timer's gonna be different because you're only gonna see that one take on YouTube. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go after another... We're gonna, we're gonna start another level. Holy crap. Alright, so now we have... Um, Launch Octopus, Stink Chameleon, and Boomer Anger. Out of the three remaining... Launch Octopus might be the easiest because I know his pattern. He's difficult on that only if you get he can recover health. And there's missiles everywhere. Boomer Quanger likes to teleport. Stink Chameleon is just a pain in the ass. This one has the body upgrade though, so we're gonna go be we're gonna be Mavericks. I mean not be Mavericks, because you don't want to be Mavericks in this game. We're gonna go after Stink Chameleon. Again, we're gonna play through the stage and then then I'm gonna call an episode and then we're gonna try for Stink Chameleon. I probably should have gone to, back to Armadillos and gotten more hard tanks, but if it fails, we'll just do that next time. This one, I, this is a theme I do like. Like this is a, this is one of the cooler themes. It doesn't come to mind up to my mind up to my mind. Oh, I can't talk right now. It doesn't come to my mind as frequently as say other stages do. But I definitely once I'm in the stage, I'll definitely be like, oh yeah. All right. So what you want to do is to get to get uh. A heart piece, because we're going to need that for this fight. Oh, we can't get this one yet. Never mind. We have to come back here later. I knew I should have gone after Launch Octopus. Okay. So, we're going to have to come back here later. Uh, or we might, we have to come back here later. So, come up here. And we'll get, this is where you get the final piece of armor. Now, this is where people speculate. Like, this is like if you look at this robot that's about to power on screen right there. It doesn't look like... a robot of this time period it looks like it looks like a like a robot from the classic series if you look at it so like this is your it ro looks like a robot from the classic series and he hurts actually that's not too bad 
Uh, I whenever I fight him normally, I usually use uh, Storm Tornado. Storm Tornado is basically broken in this game. If you're ever wondering, like, and there's no health bar on this guy. Uh, you'll start noticing as he uh, starts getting weaker in power, uh, he'll start steaming. Like, uh, like smoke will. Oh, that hurts. It's like scorpion. All right, there we go. Pretty easy pattern. He'll jump to the left. He'll jump to the right. There you go. See, as he, as you can see, that means you know the fight's almost done. So my guess is like Doctor Light put this here. This is one probably one of Doctor Light's last robots he created uh, before you know ultimately passing away. And funny enough, the other capsules. There's no other capsules that are like this where you have to fight somebody to get this. This is the only time it happens in this game and in the rest of the X series. And I've played pretty much or seen all of them. So. I so, always find that interesting that this was interesting that it was that way. There we go. So I know some some fans theory that this might be Otto from who debuted in Mega Man Seven. Uh, so there's there. Uh, like so, I don't think it's Auto repurposed. I kind of hope not. That'd be very. Like, this is what ultimately came to be. There's, like, a lot of mystery on what happened between Mega Man Unlimited... Or, Unlimited, that's a fan game. Mega Man... Yeah, this guy takes a lot of hits. I keep forgetting that. At least with the Buster. Uh, Mega Man... There's a lot of questions. There we go. Defeated. Awesome. So now you get the final Light Capsule. This is... This capsule can need a new type of body hammer. It will reduce damage to your assistance by fifty percent. So this is the this is the final piece of armor that you need. It's probably the best. To come after this one first, but ah, uh, whatever. And now we all look badass and cool. So there you go. Now basically damage reduction. Uh, it probably would have made those last couple of fights a lot easier. But it you know whatever. We beat them. That's all that matters. Here's the only part where the helmet upgrade comes into effect. As soon as this guy dies, I'll show you. So, other than busting through walls, um, those rocks that fall on your head, I believe... I want to show... I want to show it off. The game's not... Oh. Guess the game doesn't want me to show it off. I don't remember them spinning all the enemies this time. Oh, well. There we go. And we got a health back. Awesome. I really like this level though from a design standpoint. It actually really reminds me of... Uh... Oh, we got more run armor. It reminds me of the opening level for Rise of... Uh... Rising Stars. Not Rising Stars. It's a comic book. Um... Sunset Riders? No, it was for the Sega Genesis. I was playing it. I was literally just playing it. Gunstar Heroes. This opening level, this level reminds me of that game's opening level. Uh, it's like forest and, you know, it's your basically op your, your traditional opening stage. There we go. Also, it reminds me of a level another, from another Genesis game. Uh, like, if, I think it was the X-Men one. There's another jungle one. It looks very similar. Like, I know it's all jungles in the 16-bit era. But, like, the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo look different enough where you can tell, okay, that's a Genesis game. That's a Super Nintendo game. You know? So. It just reminds me of that. Like, with the big tree trunks and all the all the machinery. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for YouTube, thank you for watching. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching my first ever uh, Buster attempt, Buster kill of Armored Armadillo. As I basically just bullied the AI into doing what I wanted it to do. So until next time, all you...